Today we will be talking about Bilal and Shaida from the current season of 90 Day Fiancé. We will talk about Bilal's infamous prank and provide an update on the couple's relationship status. 42-year-old Bilal from Kansas City, Missouri and 37-year-old Shaida from Trinidad and Tobago appeared on season 9 of 90 Day Fiancé. After being single for 7 years, divorced man Bilal was approached by Shaida on social media. I'm, I was looking for someone like who is mature, first of all, someone who's responsible, someone who's ambitious, and someone who's a, a good father, like a father, you know, he has kids. And I observed these qualities with him by, just by judging his online pictures. At first, he was hesitant of talking to Shaida due to the similarity of her name and his ex-wife's name. But eventually, they started communicating online. He traveled to her country and within a week, Bilal and Shaida were engaged. Bilal then applied for Shaida's K-1 visa, so the couple could live together in the United States. However, due to the pandemic, they haven't seen each other for two years prior to Shaida coming to the United States. Bilal shared that he and Shaida have already gotten married in the eyes of God, having done a religious marriage union called Nika. While not legally binding, the spiritual union allowed Bilal and Shaida to live together during the 90 days on her K-1 visa. There are a couple of things within our religion that we do not do. Like, we don't have sexual relationships before we get married. So Shaida and I thought that it would be best to have a Nika so she can live at my home, we can be together. On the show, Bilal introduced himself as a successful real estate agent. To understand if Shaida loves him or his money, Bilal decided to prank her on the day of her arrival. According to Bilal, during their long-distance relationship, he never showed his wealth to Shaida. Brother, I know you be on Facebook flexing and all that other I stuff. I really don't. Even though you think I stunt, I really don't. Like, I, like the funny thing is, like, I purposely, like, don't show what I have. Are like, you what you, Yeah, you know, she's never seen my house. I really, this funny thing is I've never really been flashy. You know, you may see me on social media with a suit on. That's because that's just what I do for a living. And your lube. Your Louboutins. Uh, your Louboutins. Yeah, you know, um, so, but like, if you don't, like, you never see me taking a picture next to my cars or mm -hmm. taking a picture, you know, with my personal homes or anything like that. Like, only homes that you see are things that I'm, like, selling for clients. He drove a dirty van to the airport instead of his Mercedes, and he took his fiance to his unkempt childhood home instead of his modern house. However, Bilal's plan apparently backfired when Shaida started judging him for living frugally while he carries Louis Vuitton luggage. I don't want to say this, but I don't want to offend you, but I feel as if I was being deceived all along. Deceived how? Deceived when I come to your country and I see that you're not living up to the, the, the image that you carry. Well, you keep saying an image. What the is image the image? Carry, baby. came to train with your Louis Vuitton baggage wearing expensive watches and belts. Shaida felt scammed by her fiancé and wondered if he was delusional or someone who had conned her by faking his riches. He has been equally criticized by fans, some of whom think that Bilal has already become the 90 Day Fiancé season 9 villain. Meanwhile, there is also a minority of fans who either found the prank to be funny or who think that Shaida showed her true colors during that test. Inquiring minds started to doubt the authenticity of the prank storyline, thinking it might be fake. After all, looking at Bilal's Instagram, he was flexing cars, suits and watches during his relationship with Shaida. Shai addressed this in a post on social media. She wrote about being pranked and denied that Bilal was ever flexing his wealth. Quote, It's been a rocky start, but I guess he made up for that ridiculous prank. Imagine talking to someone for two years and not having an idea of what you're going into because they never reveal anything private about themselves. No, he was never flashy nor flex on social media. Hence why I said he has always been secretive. But when I met him in person, he looked like a financially responsible guy who can take care of me when I'm unable to take care of myself living in the USA for the first few years. But I trusted him and I left my life behind for him. Ladies, if you have standards, keep it up. Don't feel guilty to lower your standards to please anyone, because class is priceless. 
Bilal also addressed his prank in an interview to Entertainment Tonight. He revealed that there is more context to it, as Shida was the first one to prank him. So to put things in context is that, uh, yeah, it was an element of a test, but it was really more of a prank. And it was a continuing prank that she actually started. When I went to Trinidad, okay. um, I, um, you know, I let her know, I said, hey, here's some Airbnbs that I can stay at. You know, you choose which one should I stay at because I'm not familiar with the area. She said, okay, yeah, sure. So she picked the one for me to stay at. And lo and behold, the Airbnb was in the middle of the, the worst crime area ever. He says he's hood bougie, so I put him in the hood. <laughs> According to Bilal, it was Shida's idea to go on 90 Day Fiancé. It was actually something I, I uh, wasn't really interested in doing, and then she uh, beat me up about it over and over again. So uh, I think the trigger for me was that, you know, I didn't see, like, a, a couple that resembled us. You know, I, I didn't see... Um, one, you know, we're both Muslims, born and raised, and I didn't see another couple who were both Muslim from the diaspora. Bilal pointed out that 90 Day Fiancé franchise has never had a Muslim cast member from Trinidad and Tobago, or even someone who is African-American like Bilal, who is a practicing Muslim. Bilal and Shida mentioned how typically one might expect a Muslim cast member to be Middle Eastern. On the show, we were introduced to Bilal's ex-wife, who is in a friendly relationship with the 90 Day Fiancé cast member. Bilal was married to his ex-wife, Shahida, for 10 years. The marriage didn't work out, but it did bless Bilal with his kids, Zaina and Yusuf. However, it was reported that his divorce with Shahida was Bilal's second divorce. The Missouri man got married to a woman called Amira in August 2002. Considering Bilal is now 42, he should have been 24 years old when he first got married. That marriage was short-lived, because Bilal and Amira divorced in December 2003, when he was 25 years old. Bilal hiding his first marriage so far might also mean it's going to be his big secret in his storyline with Shaida. She already has shown a lack of trust in Bilal after his shady prank. So, her finding out about his first ex-wife might be what caused even more issues between them in future 90 Day Fiancé episodes. It's also likely that Shida is already aware of Bilal's past, but it was their mutual decision to not disclose the details on reality TV. So, did Bilal and Shida get married? It looks like they did, as evidenced by their completed marriage license. The license was initially filed in Jackson County, Missouri, on December 7, 2021. According to the documents, Bilal and Shida were married at his actual house on Saturday, December 18th. They are seemingly happy together, reportedly even filming for a new season of 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, in Kansas City. What are your thoughts about Bilal's prank? Please let me know in the comments. As always, please consider liking this video. Thank you so much for watching.